Hi everyone, welcome to my channel Training Center Shaoki. Now I will show you the knowledge of brushless generator PMG excitation. This is the cutaway view and here is the component. First we have coupling uh, this part of generator's rotor which directly connected to engine's flywheel. This part receives flywheel rotation and the other rotor part like fan, main rotor, rotating rectifier and so on will rotate together. This rotation is used to generate electricity. Then we have adapter, the part of the generator body that functions to connect the generator body to the flywheel housing. It helps rotor and stator is in line with flywheel. Next we have cooling fan. It flows the air from bottom rear side to side front of the generator here. Uh, as the name states here, the flowing air is used to bring out heat which is generated or produced by winding. Next we have main rudder. The function of the main rudder can be broken down into a few key aspects. Number one is magnetic field generation. The main rudder creates a rotating magnetic field. In the brushless generator, this can be achieved using permanent magnets or by passing an electric current through electromagnets mounted on the rudder. As the rudder rotates, it induces a varying magnetic field which interacts with the stator winding. Number two, Inducing voltage in stator windings. As the magnetic field produced by the main rotor rotates, it cuts across a stationary stator winding here. According to Faraday's, Faraday's law of electromagnetic induction, this changing magnetic field induces a voltage in the stator winding. The result is an alternating current in the stator windings. Next we have main stator. In a brushless generator, the main stator plays a crucial role in converting the rotating magnetic field generated by the main rudder into electrical power. It consists of a stationary set of wire wire winding arranged around the rudder. The main stator function in the following ways. Number one, receiving magnetic field from main rudder. Number two, generation of electrical output after the magnetic field cuts through the winding. winding. Number three, output regulation. The main stator output might be regulated or controlled to maintain a stable voltage and frequency. Of course, this must be uh, worked together with this component, AVR, Automatic Voltage Regulation, Le regular, Regulator. <laughs> Sorry. <coughs> Next function is power transmission. Once the AC power is generated in the main stator, it can be transmitted through electrical conductors to the load or connected to an electrical grid for distribution or utilization through this component, the terminal. Okay, next we have rotating rectifier which convert three phase AC to DC as a supply to main rudder. This rotating rectifier in brushless generator serves the crucial function of converting 
AC to DC for generators excitation system. This conversion is necessary for creating a stable magnetic field in generator's main rudder to induce the required voltage in the stator winding. We also have fire store here to protect sensitive components within the generator from voltage spikes and transient over voltage. Next we have exciter rudder. It is armature winding which output is three phase electricity. It has six cables that connected to rotating rectifier. Three phase but six cable. One phase has two cables. Exciter stator here. Uh, this winding get DC supply from AVR this blue and red wire it generate magnetic field in exciter generator the amount of DC supply from AVR is varying based on the apply load the higher the load the higher the voltage that needed next we have permanent magnet generator it has permanent magnet rudder and three-phase stator winding. This part has main role as AVR's power supply. PMG serve as an essential component responsible for providing the initial excitation voltage required for the generator to begin producing electricity. Its primary function is to generate a stable and reliable source of electrical power to excite the main generator's field winding without the need for an external power supply or ad additional excitation circuit. Then we have terminal outgoing. It is a part when electricity taken to the system. Sometimes it has many cables that connected to this terminal according to voltage need of course this has connection to main stator main stator could be uh, could have six winding even though this main stator is three phase and this six winding could be connected a uh, series star or parallel star depend on how much uh, not not how much <laughs> what system do you need 220 or 110 okay after we uh, learn about the structure and the function next let's go to working principle okay this is initial condition when rudder is not moving and there is a residual magnet in exciter stator represented by this blue arrow remember this is not a illustration for magnet it only rep uh, represent energy flow and number three there is magnet in PMG rudder next after the engine is started or running rudder is rotating because connected directly to the flywheel of the engine or prime mover there are three main components of electricity generation in PMG and exciter generators remember we have three generators PMG exciter and main but for now these three main components only in PMG and exciter we don't have in uh, main generator so after this uh, completed 
Then, three phase AC voltage is generated in PMG stator as a power supply to AVR. Here, and three phase AC voltage is generated in exciter rudder and rectified as power supply to main rudder. The first output is three phase and then rectified by rotating rectifier become DC next now magnet is generated in main rudder due to DC power supply from rotating rectifier now three main components in generating electricity is completed in main generator because of that Three phase electricity in is generated in main stator. Go to terminal outgoing or outgoing terminal, yes, and sensing transformer. Not all generator has sensing transformer. A transformer usually used to reduce the voltage because AVR uh, AVR need little voltage we know that maybe this is uh, 2220 volts 380 volts the system but the AVR only need to, uh, to 220 volts line to line so transformer need to reduce the voltage this part is used to reduce the amount of voltage needed to be sensing voltage of AVR. Now, AVR output is DC voltage, which is transfers, transferred to exciter stator to generate magnetism. We have note here, AVR will directly give output after it receives power supply from uh, PMG here now after electricity has been generated now it's time to regulating the voltage when exciter stator get voltage supply from AVR magnetic field is become stronger this arrow is become bigger okay next the higher the magnetism cause the output voltage of exciter rotor become increased the arrow here also get bigger now due to increase of current in main rudder which caused by increase of its supply voltage the magnetism is become stronger the arrow here become bigger and the output of main, the output of main stator is also increased voltage in secondary winding of transformer is increased too therefore AVR receive different amount of sensing voltage AVR keep increasing output voltage until it gets proper sensing voltage this based on setup value if sensing voltage is more than setup AVR reduce its output voltage okay everyone I think it's enough thank you for watching hope this is uh, helpful for you and i'm sorry for my bad language no no not bad language but uh you know uh, it, this is not my native language <laughs> okay thank you and see you